U.S. and South Korea in a strong response Friday, staging a joint ballistic missile exercise. The test comes just hours after North Korea fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, which, according to a top Japanese official, landed in the sea, possibly in Japan's exclusive economic zone. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe condemning the launch, saying the threat to Japan's security is, quote, real and severe. And after Friday's launch, the top U.S. and South Korean defense officials discussed their military response options, while the South Korean president said he wanted to talk to the United States about getting more THAAD anti-missile defense units deployed. Look, their objective for 25 to 30 years has been to be able to hit the United States with nuclear weapons delivered by ballistic missile. Uh, and they have gotten very close. This launch is one more indication of how close they are. I, I don't think this is conjecture. I think this is uh, something our military, the South Korean, Japanese officials now very concerned about. And I have to tell you, it reflects the failure of American policy for 25 years over three administrations to deal with the reality that North Korea was determined to get deliverable nuclear weapons and we have failed to stop them. So what do we do? Well, I think first we learn the lesson that, uh, you know, the essence of statecraft is uh, finding incipient threats and making sure they don't become real. We have failed here. Diplomatically, we have very limited options, I think. Uh, I've, indicated before, I won't go into the details, I think we need to reunite the Korean Peninsula. I think the, that's the only real way. But as I think our military officials are increasingly saying, uh, the military option now has to be looked at. And I understand the devastation this could bring to the Korean Peninsula. Nobody wants to be faced with this. But if the other option is dead American civilians killed by a nuclear weapon launched by a regime that's the only hereditary communist dictatorship in the world, what's an American president supposed to do? A war in the Korean Peninsula would be terrible. Uh, however, a nuclear weapon detonating in Los Angeles would be terrible. We are at a point in time where choices will have to be made one way or the other. None of these choices are particularly palatable. The Chinese have been jiving us for 25 years. They say they don't want the North to have a nuclear weapon, but they haven't done what they have the unique capability of doing. That's why I think if we could start discussing reality instead of trying to change North Korean behavior, which isn't going to happen, but start discussing a controlled elimination of the North Korean regime, no. reunification of the South, of the South and the North, essentially under the South's control with China's help uh, because of their controlling economic power, uh, there's a way to resolve this, but we are running out of time. And this is not a Cassandra uh, version of history. This is the reality. Those missiles are getting close to the capability of hitting the continental United States. And, you know, there's some question about their guidance systems. But honestly, if the North Koreans aimed at Los Angeles and hit San Diego, would it make you feel better?